Africa has been slowly climbing the rankings. Mauritius has topped the continent at an impressive 45 on the world. The worst performance was from Mozambique, 136 out of 137 countries on the competitiveness list. While South Africa dropped by 14 positions, though still at a respectable 61 in the rankings. The most improved country in Africa and the Arab world was Egypt. It jumped 15 positions to stand at 100. One of the main reasons is the uh, uh, floating of the Egyptian pounds. It has, uh, of course, uh, reduced the value of the Egyptian pounds and uh, it uh, helped a lot price competition all over the world. Increase the production and uh, give a very important, well, give a, a great importance to the quality control. The performance of the stock exchange in the last year was commendable. The EGX hit 77 in the rankings, up by 44 positions from last year. This big improvement is mainly because of the Egyptian Financial Supervisory Authority. It has done well in supervising the stock exchange, the daily operations, the companies and stock evaluations. All these measures are now adopted according to the international standards. Though much improved, Egypt still lags behind at 100 on the competitiveness index. According to the World Economic Forum's report, labor market, education and corruption have pushed Egypt back. And the government says it has put plans in place to address those concerns. Experts say more economic reforms are still to come to improve Egypt's standings. There are new regulations that will include creating more bourses, mainly specialized bourses for commodities, and overall we will see innovative ideas to develop the economy and we expect new laws from parliament to improve the business climate in the next assembly term. The IMF has been praising Egypt's reform plans, which sends a message of optimism for the future. Yes, Hakim, CGTN, Cairo.